guys, it's Geraldine. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I have an early childhood program in my home where I care for up to 12 little ones under the age of five and I create content to help you run an amazing early childhood program in your home. So today we are going to be working on building cots. <laughs> I love these little cots that I picked up this weekend. Uh, I think they're about $150 for six stackable cots. You do have to uh, put them together yourself and they come with these little sheets. That's great because then the sheets pop off here. And obviously with COVID times and just cold and flu season, we can take these off and then bleach down their cots in between uh, uses. And yeah, we can wash these little sheets. This one, the, the ones that I got, they're called ECR for kids. And I like them. They're they're easy to put together. They feel like they're going to be a nice sturdy cot. They're affordable. All the wonderful things that you're looking for for a home daycare. I will say these ones that I got, the toddler cots are literally for toddlers. This is going to be great for my two and three year olds. My four and five year olds will certainly not fit on these cots. So the kids that are in my program are aged uh, two to five. So they're going to be needing, I, I have some of the smaller cots because those are, those are the space savers, but I'm also going to want to order at least six of the larger cots. Um, I have two different nap spots for my kids this year. In my previous location, I had six kids and we all laid down in the same spot, but sometimes my four to five year olds would wake up and then you know, they're just kind of hanging out there on their cot. So I wanted to be able to have something for them to do so that they're not just sitting there being bored <laughs> and not being able to sleep. So uh, the way that our room is set up, it's kind of a horseshoe. So we're gonna have two TVs. We don't do a lot of TV time in our program. We literally only have TV. We have TV on for a half an hour from 12.30 to one, and that's after lunch so that I can get things straightened up. I have all the kids lay down on their cots. I put the TV on for a half an hour. And then after a half an hour educational show, we turn off the TV. And then if anybody, whoever's awake, I sit next to them, pat their back, get them to go to sleep, or they just kind of fall asleep on their own. Uh, but now that we have some older kids in our program, some of those kids are, they might only need like a half an hour nap or 45 minute nap, um, or they may not really sleep. So I'm going to set up another area where I can put on an educational preschool show. I personally love Sesame Street. So I think we're just going to put Sesame Street on. That was very effective for my children when they outgrew naps. I liked having, they would just watch, you know, they would still have the nap time, the regular nap time. So our nap time in our program is from one to three. So I could set up the nap time for the kids, but they didn't really have to sleep during that time. It would just be a time for me to be able to catch up on the room. Well, when my kids were younger, catch up on a few things around the house and they would just have their quiet time and their bodies need to calm down anyways and they need to relax and get some rest. So that's what we're gonna be doing for a resting time. And I am gonna show you how these cots go together. Um, each cot is going to require one mat. This is like the mesh part of the cot. I'm just going to pull that out of here and show you what it looks like. Let's see. So, as you can see, it's not super long. This wouldn't really work for the, pre for the older preschoolers, but for the younger kids, it's going to be great. It's got uh, these little sleeves where the uh, rods are going to go in. So there's four of those all the way around this down over here. Actually, I'm going to scoot back so you can see a little better. Let's see. So we've got, we've got our little mesh piece and then there are four of these connectors. So I'm going to grab those out. Two, three, four. And then we have two long poles and two short poles. Obviously the long poles are gonna go on the, the longer side of the cot sleeves. So the nice thing about this is one side has Velcro. And as you'll see as I'm doing this, you do still kind of have to wrestle these guys in there because they don't want to go in very easily, but I mean, it's not impossible. This doesn't require any tools, but that's just a little fun fact about me. I always want to be better at tools. <laughs> I'm really good at finding people who are good at tools. Let's see. So there we go. Here's the second one. So you have to put the long ones in first. I learned this the hard way. Instead of just reading directions, I just 
I fiddled around with the first one and it didn't go too well, so I had to do the second one. So here we go, put this one in the second piece here, or the third piece here in this little slot. All right. So next, I don't know, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So you wanna make sure that this piece is facing upward because you gotta be able to stack your cots. Oh, this is where it gets a little tricky. See, these are kind of tight. Make sure that fits in there nice and tight. All right, this one here. the way push that in there now here's where it gets really <laughs> less fun okay so there we go you have three quarters of our cot built so the next part is going to be getting these pieces on here Again, you want to make sure that your the part that's going to interlock because these are stackable is on the upper part, away from the seam. Okay, now the second one here on this side. Okay, now this is where it's going to get real fun, guys. I'm trying to keep this guy apart here. Here. push it down nice and tight and then you gotta wrestle this one in here oh geez louise and you gotta really fight this guy okay there we go gotta wrestle it in there <laughs> See, this isn't <laughs> super fun. <laughs> Building cots is not my favorite part of this whole project, guys. No, oh, got it. It's going in. Not exactly. Oh, good lord. <sighs> Goodness, I don't want to be able to get that in there. There we go. Oh, we got it. Awesome. Okay, it's all together. And the final part is to just put this Velcro piece on here. Let's see. Voila, we have a cot. One toddler cot. <laughs> I would say that I'm oh, looking at the timer here. Probably took me about five minutes to make a, a toddler cot. So there we go. And the great thing about these, as I mentioned before, they stack. So you can stack them up and put these on the side of your room. Let's see. That's how they look. They're stacking right there. Like that. Stack up for the kids. And there you go. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Okay. I don't know about you, but I might need a nap after that. Anyways, uh, make sure that you hit that subscribe and the alert button. What's going on with my hair? So you can get future content from me. And if you have a cot that you love that's easier to put together, let me know. I didn't really think those were too bad. But uh, anyways, I hope you have an amazing day and thanks for stopping by.